Don. You know you cannot be a priest. You also know you should not be a priest. You know that the Lord knows that. And yet, you are going to be a priest today. Why? It is a mystery. It is a mystery that is frightful. It is a mystery that makes us afraid. You and I, we belong to the class of the woman caught in adultery. We belong to the class of Saul, the persecutor. We belong to the class of Matthew, the tax collector. We belong to the class of Peter, the impulsive apostle who denied the Lord in crisis. We belong to that class. We belong to the class of sinners. And you know your sins. The Lord knows your sins. The Lord knows my sins. I should not be a bishop, I know that. I cannot be a bishop, I know that. But I am because of the mystery of God's mercy. It is a mystery that is frightful and yet fascinating. You remember those words? Mysterium tremendum et fascinans. It is a mystery that makes us afraid when we look at ourselves. But it is a mystery that is so fascinating. We are magnetized by it. We have, to, we have fixed our goals, our eyes on it. And we cannot look anywhere else because we are caught in awe. We are caught by fascination. By that mysterious grace of God. And that is why on the day of your ordination, the song is not Alleluia right away. The song is not Glory to God right away. The plea is, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy because you are asking me to do something that makes me afraid. You are asking me to do something that is beyond me. That is too big for my shoes, too big for my body, too big for my mind, too big for my heart. It is too much to be carried by human hands. It is too much considering our st story, our history of weakness and sin. That is why it makes us afraid. And with Peter, we can say to the Lord, Lord, depart from me. For I am a sinful man. Lord, leave me. I do not deserve to be called. And in His kindness, in His mercy, in our attempts to run away from the Lord, the Lord, like the hound of heaven, ran after you. You hid from the Lord, and the Lord searched for you. You ran away from Him, and the Lord ran after you because the Lord has beautiful plans for you that not even dawn can stop. Not even you can stop the Lord from fulfilling His plan, His will for you. It is a mystery that is frightening and yet it is also a mystery that is so fascinating. We cannot run away from the Lord. So to this morning, give up running. This morning, stop escaping. This morning, just sit down and allow the Lord to say to you, you are small, you are wretched, blackened by sin, like Saul, like Peter, like the adulterous woman, like Zacchaeus, like Matthew, we belong to the same class. And today, just allow the Lord to embrace you and to say, 
I have written your name on the palms of my hands. You are mine. And as you receive the laying on of hands, and as you receive the blessings of the church, and as people call you Father, we move on into a new chapter in your life. And then, the question needs to be asked, how will you be a priest? It is still a mystery, Don. The mystery does not end today. The mystery will continue to unfold for the rest of your life. And it will now be not only a mystery that is frightening and fascinating, it will also be a mystery of misery and mercy. Misera et misericordia. You will still fall. The Lord knows that. You will still make a mistake. You will still be broken by sin. The Lord knows that. But the Lord also promises you mercy, compassion. You are going to live a life of a miserable sinner, not better than the penitents who will approach you in confession. You will live the life of a miserable sinner, miserable because of the roots of original sin. A miserable sinner because we are still tainted by sin. We were not conceived without original sin. And we carry in our bodies not just the glory of the Lord, we carry, we carry in our bodies the wounds of the history of our sins. And in the mystery of that misery, it is also the mystery of God's mercy that will carry you through. I have only one word for your ordination. Mystery. I am sure when you enter the seminary, you never dreamt of December 27, 2021. And certainly, not Bin Mali, not me, not these people behind you. But that is the plan of God for you. We do not know why. We just say, Lord, if it is your will, it must be the best for us. May you live in that sense of mystery about a frightening, a frightful voice asking you, come follow me. Do not forget your history. Do not forget your weakness. Do not forget who you are. Do not forget your parents. Do not forget your family. You will, they will always be part of you. But do not forget that the Lord is always with you. It is not just about sin. It is about mercy, which is the response of the Lord for you. It is not just about weakness, but it is the strength, which is the gift of God to you. Today, we are going to call you Father Don. It is still a mystery. I say it again. You know you should not be a priest. You know you cannot be a priest. You know that. And God knows that. And today, Jesus says to you, I know. I know you. I know you cannot be a priest. I know you should not be a priest. I know you. But you are going to be a priest, the Lord says to you, because my strength is enough for you. You are going to be a priest because the plan of God is better than your plan. You are going to be a priest because you have been called even before time began. You ran away. The Lord searched for you. You hid from the Lord. The Lord found you again. And now you are here, 
Keep the Lord in your heart. Never allow Him to be separated from you. On a very personal note, Don, I want to assure you, I will be with you. I did not know about this day when I ordained you a deacon years ago. But I am sure God knew. We will grow old together serving the Lord. Give the Lord a chance to love you and all will be well for you. How do you look at yourself 25 years from now? How do you look at yourself 50 years from now? It would still be the same dawn. Caught by the frightful mystery of God's love. Enveloped by the fascinating mystery of God's love. Living in the misery of sin. But living also in the mystery of God's mercy. This is your story. This is God's story in your life. Don, may God be glorified in your life.